All right, welcome craft tubers and YouTube crafters. Today we're going to make Five Nights at Freddy's Montgomery Gator um, mask using Dollar Tree products and thrifted items. And I got this ninja mask. And what's cool about this, I got this at Dollar Tree. What's cool about this is it lights up. So that kind of gives it an animatronic feel. And I'm just going to remove this big green piece oh. so you want to use tin snips to get just cut that green off and then it just kind of Off. Oh, this one doesn't want to snap off. I've done this before, but this one doesn't want to snap off. So we'll just. Well, we're going to put. Add. We're going to glue um, foam and stuff on here. So that sharp stuff won't even be. A thing but if you have muscles you can take the whole thing off but this one wants to stay put for whatever reason okay so we'll just work around that and then the other items you'll need foam I thrifted all this foam for four dollars and fifty cents and then for the glasses I've got my yellow foam strips and then I got star foams at Dollar Tree to do the glasses. Um, I thrifted this fur a long time ago, so to do is a mohawk or this thrifted fluorescent pillow to do as a mohawk. I'm not sure, but I'll work with it. And then I got this for the snout, but I've tried this plastic thing on and it's like very flimsy so I might just use um, these plastic things to kind of mold a foam shape snout because my first original idea was to have hot glue the snout, but it doesn't it doesn't work very well, so we're gonna have to DIY Montgomery snout because this this just doesn't work. It doesn't cut it. Well I thrifted this um gator mask thing, so I might just use his snout. Yeah just might use his that might be a good idea 
and we'll stuff it with pillow stuffing. We'll be fine. try and glue this puppy together. I think we'll make like little slits. So, I think we'll make the bottom shorter. Yeah, yeah, I like that better. Okay, so we're just gonna oh, come on, hot glue. Work with me here. I'll probably put a strip of red there. Could just do that and it's like the start of the mohawk. The start of his mohawk. So oh, I just need to hot glue the sides here and work on the
these yellow foam strips. Like I said, we don't want to cover the the lighting. Okay, so just fold the star in half. buy already made star sunglasses but the dollar store didn't have any cool I found these already made star shapes so I'm gonna use the low temp glue gun tuck this on One eyeball done. Ew, it's so stringy. It's like string cheese. But string cheese tastes better. Don't eat high glue, people. He got his stars on. I think he has a big blue star up here, but I don't know if I want to put that on. I think he looks pretty cool the way he is. Maybe we'll do the purple without sparkles. And we'll draw it. I didn't want to paint the star on because I just think it would have looked kind of gross. <laughs> painting, oh, painting over the fur, the fur material, even though it looks like an alligator. <sighs> really staying on. Alright, I'm gonna go try this on and grab. Okay, I realized his nostrils did not. Look like gator nostrils, more like dragons, so cut these a little smaller off from the sides. 
and I'm going to put them in the front so it's more like the character. I'm going to use my low temp gun. A gator instead of a dragon. Well, I guess dragons can have these type of noses too. <laughs> oh boy. And should we fill out his cheeks more? I think he would benefit from having puffier cheeks, but I'm not exactly sure how I should go about doing that. Maybe give it a try. And hopefully it doesn't wreck the mask. We worked so hard to build. Every time, hot glue gun. Some glow in the dark. I hope I taped. If I didn't tape, I'm sorry. I changed Montgomery up here. I gave him a nose job. And now I'm giving him a paint job. Because I cut the nose pieces off here that weren't actually where his nostrils were. So I'm making him more authentic. And because the green ended up almost being the color of my Godzilla pajamas, I think he'll match better. So I'm just trying to color his fur without messing up things so bad. More like Monty color. brush here and this is I got a Dollarama during Halloween painting the teeth with some glow-in-the-dark paint
So all it took was Dollar Tree supplies, some thrifted supplies, an old head thing I had lying around. His teeth have been glow in the dark paint. 